Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, Land? Yes. Yeah. Well, how did your uh, just... your uh, what artist go? <laughs> I have in front of me is uh, some comments that were phoned in by Nancy Hanks. Yeah. Let me just read you a couple of these. I frankly didn't have a chance to identify the people by name, uh, but these are leaders in the field, and they, some of the comments are marvelous speech comes across a marvelous humanitarian. In one speech, he will advance the cause of arts more than I think even he realizes. He's done so much already, but this will make them fly. Isn't he fantastic? Terrific. No politics. Not political at all. Kind <laughs> of guy you'd want to know. Hmm. My gosh, I'm going to go back and get our governor to tell all his agencies they've got to get involved in the arts. Best speech he's made since he's been in office. It had the that feeling and it had specifics. I felt the sincerity. Oh, it's just, it's really, well, perfect. absolutely, well, I told them to get it may be worth, it out may be worth in, the, in the bushes there, in the back in their states, and, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. but this, the feeling in the crowd was, uh, was one of, of just enormous great response. Well, I thought it was first rate. If we can get a little of that through, well, anyway, I don't know, we, we never know whether this issue is worth much of a damn, but at least it's, uh, something that's important to these people and also important in the long run to what we do so we just got to do it oh i think it's a real kind of a sleeper issue it affects you a lot so? of people and yeah. a lot of people that write and a lot of people with money oh certainly that the place and they they really uh, we, we were able to yeah. i know people that i have access to now that i never did before because of the the arts thing it might affect a few clarinet players a few clarinet players <laughs> so i've just <laughs> sent you a memorandum and we've got very good news from Taft Shriver. He's got a commitment from uh, from uh, Sam Rothberg and another major Democrat in California to go out and hit the trail and raise five million dollars next year. My gosh, that's something for uh, the next time around, and that's related to, to, to well, I'll put it down in the memorandum. What we've done, what movies? We've done? No, no, not movies. Oh yeah, Middle East. Oh yeah, I see. And this mm -hmm. comes in, you know, it's quite explicit. To, yeah. Right. And these are these are leading Democrats who are going to go out on... With, uh, Were you in San Clemente when we had that meeting with the movie people? Yes. You remember what no, that... No, I wasn't, but I know all the details. You about. remember what the... Well, you, well, then you know the story I told is absolutely true. Some guy over there, the bearded guy or something, uh, and one of the guys attending, boy, was not bearded, long haired, he said, told me exactly that, that they... They'd already taken about, I think he told me there were 10,000 kids from Watts had been taken to museums and, right. and musical con thing, not musical, you know, uh, op uh, I don't know what kind of music, but I didn't care. Well, it so is. that meant something to those people. They got that. And, you know. In New York? And I, I thought it was interesting, too, the, the, little, the little story about the, shall we go second class? Or, and I remember that. Right. From, you know, that story, believe me, is 40 years old, but I recall it when That's I was working. It's, it's really true. A, a woman, she must have been a remarkable woman, did it for nothing to come there and tell us that her, when she came back from Europe, that the family voted, shall we buy the painting or go second class? And uh, they decided, well... Uh, or go first class and they decide to buy the painting, which I think is a good illustrating the, priority. The right. best way. That, that, uh, yeah. Really terrific. And we've had that in a number of places where the, uh, I think that it is true that the people mm -hmm. have uh, have something to tie them over. Well, the main thing we need is this. If we can get across the point, Len, that, and I, I do feel strongly on this, that damn it, that just food stamps and uh, a little more income and increase my social security and give me a better plumbing and so forth, right. Uh, is not all that is in life, right. that there's a hell of a lot of people in the world that don't have much, but who, well, there are a lot of people that have everything and have nothing, and there are a lot of people that have very little and have everything. That's really what right. these people in the arts ought to be doing to tell people. In other words, a person who sits there, you know, in a hell, some of the greatest people in music, uh, they had to have angels later on, but they started from very right. poor families. That's right. And, you know. and when you said this is the kind of thing that you'd take them up on the mountaintop and give them some vision of what, what life is outside that right. miserable city. Otherwise, uh, God, they, uh, and otherwise... Uh, marvelous passage, by the way. Yeah. You know, that, that improvisation when you lifted up and went into that whole thing, and it, you know how that really drew a, a, mm -hmm. a rifle right. shot of applause. But, uh, well, okay, well, I think that's main the main thing is to tell, tell Nancy to... to, to get out there. To, no, no, tell her to tell her to get behind those beards and find out what those people are doing. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank All you right. very much.